Hi, Adam here from Restore Native. Today talking about the humble manuka. Now, manuka, great plant. Um, I'll probably say this about everything, but one of my favorites. Um, it's just such a hardy, versatile plant. Um, in some sort of uh, situations where we're doing reforestation planting, like I've got clients who want to put 50% of the plants in as manuka. Um, obvious benefits there in terms of honey. Um, that's also been a big thing over the last 10 or 15 years. Um, we grow from high UMF varieties, um, hard to test until they're out there flowering, but ultimately those are the seeds we collect from. Um, and we grow a really hardy bush. Now the manuka can do a bit of everything. It can deal with sort of swampy, damp ground, um, but it also doesn't mind drier hillsides as well. It flourishes in those first few years, so it really gets up and above, above the grass and weeds. So if you're not going to give your project a lot of care once those trees are in the ground, manuka is just going to keep doing its business and keep going. The only downside it has is that um, it doesn't feed the birds necessarily, um, although you'll often see fantails and that hanging around manuka because of the flaky bark, little insects and stuff live in there and they get in there so the fantails and grey warblers and stuff love feeding around them. Um, but they're not going to carry in those seeds like, um, like some of the other fruiting plants where you've got kiridu and tui bringing in seeds from other trees to, to ultimately grow a forest. So, so a manuka is technically a shrub, um, it's often, often um, confused with its, with kanuka which looks similar but not really related. Um, so it'll grow, uh, depending on who you listen to, 5 to 8 metres tall, um, nice big bushy, give a lot of coverage, um, and, but it's never going to grow into a tall forest tree but it will provide really good shade and shelter for those big forest trees. So. Um, I think Marduk is just awesome, beautiful white flowers, um, yeah it's really cool so definitely something you want to include in your project, probably something if you're in that, that little bit of rough country there's a little bit of weird weed pressure and whatnot, um, it'd be something you want to get heaps of so yeah really good option.